If your Sony Bravia Google TV keeps turning off by itself after a few seconds, then in this guide I'll show you how to stop your Sony Smart TV from switching off automatically. So let's begin. Small software glitches can often cause your TV to turn off on its own. And we can easily fix that by power cycling or cold booting your TV. To do that, you'll need to disconnect your TV from power and then wait about 5 minutes. After that, turn your TV back on and see if it's fixed. If your TV still turns off from time to time, then we'll check if all the power saving features are turned off. So open all settings from the quick panel, then go to the system tab and power and energy. Then from here, go to idle TV power off and make sure that it's turned off. Press OK on the prompt and also disable auto shut off. Now your TV shouldn't turn off on its own. But if the problem persists, then this may also be caused by the HDMI devices that's plugged into your TV. So if you have any device connected, you'll simply need to turn off the auto power off option. So from all settings, go to channels and inputs, external inputs, HDMI CC settings, and from there, either disable HDMI CC altogether or just turn off device auto power off. Now other devices won't be able to turn your TV off. If your remote's power button is faulty, then this can also cause your TV to turn off abruptly. So to check that, you can try taking off the batteries of your remote and see if your TV turns off after that. If your TV doesn't turn off, then it means your remote's power button may be jammed. But if this didn't make any difference, then we'll check the power cord connection and the cord's physical condition. Make sure the cord is attached properly and that it's not damaged. And as it can also be caused by insufficient power source, make sure that your TV is plugged directly into a wall outlet. And if it's already connected to one, then you can switch to a different outlet. After going through all these steps, your problem should be fixed. But if some of you are still facing this, then it's probably a damaged power supply that's at fault. So in that case, you'll need to get your TV repaired. Let us know which step solved your issue. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for more.